What's up, nerds? Today we're diving deep into the muddled mess that is Alex Garland's Civil War. Strap in, because this one's a wild ride through a dystopian America that feels more like a fever dream than a coherent narrative. Let's start with the biggest sin of them all, the lack of research. Garland's depiction of the Second American Civil War feels like it was pulled straight out of a hat without any consideration for historical context or political nuance. It's like he thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have a civil war in the U.S.? and ran with it without even bothering to do any real legwork. As a Brit tackling American politics, Garland falls flat on his face, relying on tired stereotypes and shallow portrayals that do a disservice to the complexity of the issues at hand. Yeah, fuck this guy. I mean, I don't need a foreigner telling me how the state of my country is going. I, I think it would be it would have been more interesting uh, if he would have written a movie about uh, you know what's going on in his country in Britain right now. Maybe have it being like trying to be overthrown by the overwhelmingly immigrant problem that they have at the moment. Uh, I think that he would have something to say about that. But uh, he's not an American, so he knows fuck all. And speaking of stereotypes, let's talk about the characters, or the absence of them. The so-called journalists at the center of this mess are about as deep as a puddle. They stumble through the plot with all the grace of a drunken frat boy at a poetry slam, spouting off pseudo-intellectual nonsense and moralizing without any real substance to back it up. These are supposed to be the heroes of the story, but they come off more like cardboard cutouts with press badges. Seriously, these characters are so unlikable. For instance, AliExpress Pedro Pascal, or aka Wagner Mora, is completely unlikable. But so is every other character in this movie. They don't care about what's happening and what's going on around them, uh, or who's being hurt. They just need to get the shot. That's all they need to do, which photojournalism, who gives a shit about that anymore? More. I mean, they put themselves on a pedestal. I mean, they're the arbiters of history. They need to capture every instance of this war and make you feel it. But I don't feel anything. I just keep watching this movie thinking, you people are assholes. And this movie's boring. Uh, it was, it, they're just so unlikable. It's ridiculous. But it's not just the characters that suffer from a lack of depth. It's the entire world building, or lack thereof. Garland seems content to throw together a mishmash of political factions and half-baked ideas without ever bothering to explain how he got here or why anyone should care. Instead of immersing us in a richly detailed world, we're left scratching our heads and wondering why anyone thought this mess was a good idea in the first place. I mean, yeah. This guy has Texas and California in a coalition together. Like, they have an allyship. And the whole time you're wondering, uh, California and Texas politics are so opposite, it's ridiculous. I mean, and, and the thing is, he explains this shit in interviews. Like, he, I, I saw him explain why Texas and California are working together. But the thing is, I'm not going to tell you why they're working together because I shouldn't have to do homework to find out about your movie. You should explain that in your fucking movie, asshole. I shouldn't have to go out of my way to watch every single fucking interview that you do to figure out what, what, why the little, the little, the little pieces of your puzzle. Also, he has two other factions in here, the Florida Alliance and then uh, the new America Army. I don't know. It's the the, the Northwestern uh, uh, states or whatnot. But I'm all like, well, what, what are they doing during this whole time? Oh, yeah, we don't fucking know. We don't know anything. So it was just very, it was very bad. And let's not even get started on the plot or the deficiency of one, Civil War meanders aimlessly from one scene to the next, never bothering to establish any real stakes or momentum. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion, except instead of being horrified, you're just bored out of your mind. I mean, yeah, like, any scene from this movie could have been removed, and the movie would have been the same. It would have been the same movie. For instance, there is a scene where the press, these reporters, these journalists, they're driving along in their, their little car, That's and uh, they come across this Santa land or whatever. It's like a Christmas land or whatever. I'm like, oh, this looks like a fucking boring place in the real world. And so they get there, 
and a sniper starts shooting at him. And instead of you know, hauling ass through the area and trying to make it out of there, they, they park behind a big truck and they meet two soldiers. One of them is a sniper and the other one's just laying on top of him. They both have pink hair and painted fingernails. So, yay. But they're probably from California. So they're, <laughs> so they're sitting there and they don't explain anything. Like, they're like, who is it? And they're like, they're like, I don't know. He's trying to kill us. We're trying to kill them. And I'm like, good, exp- good explanation, guys. Thanks for all that. And then, um, they kill the guy and the guy's all like, good news. He's dead. I'm all like, this scene didn't need to be here. But it is, and the whole time you're just like, all right, whatever. In the end, Civil War is a prime example of style over substance. Garland might think he's making a bold statement about the state of America, but all he's really doing is shouting into a void without anything meaningful to say. Save your time and money, nerds. This one's a dud. Bottom line? The film is poorly researched with Alex Garland refusing to take any clear stance which undercuts the entire film. Even with its criticisms, it doesn't understand America today. What a potato quality movie. It says nothing. It has zero plot, but hey, journalists are awesome harbingers of truth and the real heroes. Why is the war happening? Don't know, but we know one thing, the journalists didn't start it. Journalists would never do something like that. It's missing a lot of substance, heart, and character for what feels like a shallow exploration of the impact of war with some artsy shots. I mean, it has good performances and political neutrality, but it's boring as fuck. Well, guys, tell me what you guys thought about this movie. Did you like it? Did you not like it? If you liked it, please tell me how you could like it because I don't understand that shit at all. But tell me what you guys thought. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next movie review. You guys have a good day. Bye.